Welcome to the Daily Motivational Challenge. I'm your host, Julie Wilkes, and today's motivational message is about loving your heart. In fact, I'm calling this the Love Your Heart Challenge. And at the end of this message, I'm going to challenge you to do three things today to take care of your heart. So stay tuned. But to start off with, I want to give you a few statistics. Did you know that one in three women will die of heart disease? Did you also know that 80% of heart disease can be prevented? 80% just by knowing your numbers, knowing the risk factors, and taking care of your body. For me, this is a very personal topic because I was born with a heart defect that was so severe that I was given a very shortened life expectancy. In fact, when I was born, the doctors had thought that I would only live a few minutes. Those minutes turned into hours, turned into days, turned into weeks, and turned into months. At the, at the end of six months, the doctors wrote miracle across my chart because they couldn't explain how I was still surviving. My heart had been so severely damaged and not fully developed upon birth that they just couldn't explain how it was healing itself. At the age of three, I had a cardiac catheterization, and the doctor said that I had the heart of an 80-year-old, and I shouldn't expect to live beyond 10 or 12 years old. This caused me to grow up living urgently, that is, to make the most of time, to tell people how I feel about them, to love with my heart, to live fully, and to just make sure I don't put off things that we typically tend to put off till tomorrow. In the fifth grade, I met my gym teacher, Mr. Larry Larson, who taught me about the heart and that it's a muscle, and if you use it, you strengthen it, and you can overcome great odds with it. I began running and developed an insane fondness for exercise. I just found that I felt so great whenever I went out and walked, ran, did anything. My life expectancy started to increase from 12 years old to 18 to 24 to 30, and I attributed it all to taking care of my body, teaching my heart how to be more efficient and strong. So now I'm in my mid-30s and I've overcome all that life expectancy has placed before me and I attribute knowledge, support, love and fitness to helping overcome my heart. So I challenge you to take care of your heart because it can help you to overcome great odds. It has with me. So today for your challenge I ask you to take care of your heart cardiovascularly. Do one thing to get your heart rate up. I, I challenge you to take care of your heart nutritionally. Choose to eat something that's going to empower your heart, strengthen your heart, not the other. So whether that's low fat foods or something like oatmeal, anything that's been known to be heart healthy, educate yourself on what that is and choose at least one food today that will do that for you. And finally, and my favorite, I challenge you to love your, with your heart today. Don't be afraid to love someone. Don't be afraid to tell someone how you feel. Love fully with your heart because I promise you, you won't regret it. Your heart will be happy, your body will be happy, and you'll make me happy. So I challenge you today, love your heart every way you can, and until tomorrow, make it a great day.